Hello, it's Claire from Comeback Brighter. So I've got to share this with you today because it's something just occurred to me recently and it's it's like, I, how did I not, how did I not realise this was what was happening? So, so what narcissists do is they, they will pitch you against other people and they will pitch those other people against you. And they do this by triangulation. They do this by being the ones that are in control of the communication between the two of you. So there's three of you in it, hence the triangle, and all communications will go with the narcissist. And then they can put their own spin on things. So this was um, a time when uh, my brother was celebrating something. And, and now this was the story. Now, I don't know how true it is because I've never checked, but this is the story, okay? And the story was that uh, my brother was celebrating something and and his girlfriend at the time, I think she was his girlfriend at this time, um, was going out without him, okay, doing something completely different, okay? So she couldn't actually go out with him that evening to celebrate the thing. And and then there was this big, long, like, discussion about kind of, without saying it, but the, the gist of it, is, it was, was what a horrible person that she was, that she did, they did this thing where she went out Something else was priority over my brother. Um, what a horrible person she was that um, he he wanted to celebrate. He wanted to go out. He wanted to do something. And and she just carried on and did her own thing and, and doesn't really care about him. She's selfish. Uh, she's inconsiderate. She prioritizes other people. And, and that was the story, okay? Now, <clears throat> and this is the thing that I can't, I can't get over. What actually, how did my parents know this was happening, okay? Because because they weren't necessarily always that involved in, in either myself or my brother's lives too much. But, but they knew this was happening because they were actually staying near my brother when this happened, okay? Now, now I see it, you see. So what they did was my parents were there. They were only there to see my brother and spend some time with him. And what they did in order to have this big story, really about what a bitch's girlfriend was, they didn't take him out. They didn't celebrate with him. Now, why is this like, why am I finding this so like <gasps> shocking today? I'm finding it really shocking because, because what happens when you're involved as a narcissist is that they will spoon feed you their story okay and and it will always be to make somebody else look bad and uh or to make them look good okay now in this case my father's agenda was to make my my sister-in-law or my brother's girlfriend look bad so that i would think she was a bitch and i didn't want to spend any time with them and then i wouldn't spend any time with my brother and this is what they do what they'll often do is they'll make it be about the partner, not about their own child, okay? And and so it, my father painted this picture, but actually, do you know what it was? It was him that was prioritizing something else over going out with his own son. Now, maybe I haven't made this clear, but he was actually staying near my brother he could have taken, him and my mum could have taken my brother out to celebrate, and they didn't. But I never heard that. I never heard that story. So what they did was they went up there, they stayed nearby, they went out themselves for a meal, just the two of them, and ignored my brother in order that they could make a story about what a bitch my, my um, sister-in-law was. And this is where you, my, I mean, my mom just, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're in it, you're so drawn in by the narcissist and their nonsense. You're so involved in their drama that you don't see the bigger picture. And I mean, this was probably, oh, I don't know, 10 years ago. No, I don't know. A long time ago, over 10 years ago. And it's only now that I've worked out 
that in in that story about what a bitch my sister-in-law was my father was horrible he did the very thing that he was he was accusing my sister-in-law of doing of of prioritizing other people of not making my brother uh, feel special not celebrating with him and and he did it he did it and put it onto my sister-in-law and that's what you don't realize when you're in it that's what you don't see when you're pulled into that drama with a narcissist is you can't take that step back from it to see what is this all about who is doing it now this is a good example because this was a case where i knew where my parents were i knew they were there and i knew and they told me about my sister in law okay so i knew i had like like proof if you like that that's what was happening but this is what they do all the time they will do the horrible things and then they will project it onto somebody else where they've got the agenda of of getting you to not like them so that they can they can put it onto somebody else which makes them feel better about themselves and they can further their own agenda of making you not like them and that will be about everything so if you're still involved with a narcissist and they're accusing you of X, Y, and Z, or somebody else of doing those things, I'll be willing to bet that it's them that's doing those things. And if you are still involved with a narcissist, sometimes this can give you the heads up. Sometimes this can tell you what they're planning or what they're really about. So if they if they point at somebody else and they say, he's a liar, she steals things, whatever they're accusing other people of are the things that they are and they are doing. So it can give you advance notice. And, and if you're really paying attention and you're hearing what's actually going on, you can take that little bit of a step back. You can actually make sure that you are protected and the people that you love are protected because they may well give themselves away. So I just wanted to share that with you today because it really does illustrate exactly what these people are about. And if my father really had been concerned with my brother and celebrating the thing he was celebrating, he would have taken him out. But then you see the story couldn't have been about what a bitch my sister-in-law was. But who was the real bitch? Who was the one that was really being horrible in that situation? I'll leave you to answer that yourself. I hope that this helps. I am here for you. If you need me, please comment below or email me, Claire, C-L-A-R-E, comebackbrighter at gmail.com.